Hi, my name's Andrew Sherman, and I'm Chief of Cardiothoracic Surgery at St. Joseph's Hospital in Tampa, Florida, within the BayCare Health System. I started off at Duke University as an undergrad, and I grew up in Chicago, so I went back to Chicago for my uh, medical training at Rush Medical College and did my general surgery residency at Northwestern University. And as part of my five years of general surgery residency, I did an extra two years in the Feinberg Cardiovascular Research Institute at Northwestern doing cardiovascular research. Following that, I went to Emory University in Atlanta for three years for my cardiothoracic surgery fellowship. So transcatheter aortic valve replacement, also known as TAVR or TAV, is an ability for us to perform an operation we've done for years and years, which is an aortic valve replacement, but instead of opening up the middle of the chest and putting the patient on the heart-lung machine, we're now able to do it with a minimally invasive approach either most of the time through small incisions in the groins or occasionally with a small incision on the left side of a patient's chest. You hear a lot the terms off pump and on pump. And what that refers to is an aortic valve replacement was an operation that was almost 100% of the time needed to be done with the heart-lung machine, with the on pump. Now, with the transcatheter approach, or the TAVR procedure, we do all of those procedures without the heart-lung machine. So they're done with the heart beating, there is what would be termed off-pump. The patients who benefit from the transcatheter approach to an aortic valve replacement are patients who have severe critical aortic valve narrowing, or what we call stenosis, and are symptomatic from it. So they, have, they can have chest pain or they can have lightheadedness. Some of them will pass out and some of them will even have heart failure type of symptoms, shortness of breath, exercise limitations, not doing the things they used to be able to do. So it's patients who are at high risk or sometimes even prohibitive risk to undergo a standard aortic valve replacement surgery with opening up the middle of the chest and the heart-lung machine. Those are the patients in the current guidelines within the FDA in the United States that are candidates for the transcatheter valve uh, approach. So not only are you having a less invasive procedure, not having to be on the heart-lung machine, not having a prolonged operation, but you're having minimal discomfort and being able to leave the hospital and resume the activities that you wanted to do. And the transcatheter aortic approach has revolutionized that process to where patients are back within a week or two doing the things we want them doing. Because we do these operations so that you don't have to worry about that heart valve anymore. But we do it so that you can spend time with your family, spend time with your children, spend time with your grandchildren. If you're golfing, we want you back on the golf course. If you're working, we want you back at work. We want you doing all the things in life that we're getting more and more difficult to do because of the aortic valve narrowing.